Welcome to the Warlords of Draenor basic raid prep series by LOS Gaming. Today in our line of sight is the Hellfire Council. Gul'dan has been searching for those who had served the Burning Legion. Through their prowess, devotion, and ruthlessness, three have risen. They now comprise Gul'dan's inner circle and act as his personal guard. Blademaster Jubathos, Gertog Bloodboil, and Dia Dark Whisperer are the three unique bosses that make up the Hellfire High Council. Start by having one tank bring both Blademaster and Gertog over to the right while the other tank keeps Dark Whisperer to the left. The ranged DPS and healers will stay within the circle in the middle of the room. Gertog's Zetic Wound will apply a stacking debuff that does nature damage and reduces the tank's armor. The tank will have 10 to 15 stacks when he fixates a random player. You can use this fixate to reset the stacks by having the fixate target move back. The fixated player will get a damage buff along with defensive buffs to withstand Gertog's assault. Finally, Demolishing Leap will create a brown swirl on the ground. It will take less damage the farther you are from the swirl when he lands. Blademaster Jubethos will hurl a fell blade toward a random raid member indicated by an arrow at his feet. Dodge the spinning blade. Fellstorm is an AoE damage ability that will hurt anyone within 8 yards of him. At times, Jubethos will vanish and summon mirror images of himself that mimic his attacks. Kill them all quickly and he will return. Dia Dark Whisperer's passive Void Haze will make her allies immune to damage. Tank her at least 25 yards away. Her Mark of the Necromancer is a debuff applied to one random player and does increasing damage. When it is dispelled, it will jump to the two nearest targets and have its damage reset. She will cast Reap which will clear everyone's mark but will cause a void zone to spawn under them. Reap is a 4 second cast so you have plenty of time to move away. Lastly, she will use Wailing Horror which turns the room purple. Ghosts will fly across the room damaging anyone in their path. Each boss gains a new ability at 30%. Gertog gains a stacking permanent health debuff which doesn't pose a significant threat. We suggest having your raid focus Gertog down to start the fight. Save your lust for when he hits 30% to minimize the tainted blood stacks you get. Once he dies, split your DPS between Dia and Jubethos. Have melee go Dia so they avoid the Blademaster's AoE damage ability. Once the bosses reach 35%, everyone switch to Jubethos. When he reaches 30%, he will begin to do a strike which damages half your raid. The strike will do more damage each time it's cast, and he will continue to do it even after he dies. When Dark Whisper is alone, have your raid stack up on her. Once she hits 30%, she will debuff half your raid with Mark of the Necromancer, and she will stop casting Reap. Your entire raid will have a debuff very quickly. Healers try to keep everyone topped off and keep up with the dispels. Burn Gertog fast, dodge the ghosts and blades, keep the center clear of void zones, and you'll force Gul'dan to find some new BFFs. This has been Tatva and Tovo with 2-Minute Tips by Line of Sight Gaming. Please like and subscribe and check out our other videos by clicking on any of these links.